Well, hello there friends. I hope you're doing well today. It has been an incredibly hot minute. A very long time since um, I've seen you all. I hope you're doing well. And just in case, if you don't know who I am, I am the brother to the late and oh so great Bob Ross. Um, I'm his brother, Maurice Ross, and I hope you're doing well today. And thank you for tuning in to today's segment. I don't know if I want to call it a moment with Maurice or the wonders of painting because that's borderline potential copyright infringement with my brother's show at the time, The Joy of Painting. I don't know. But if you have any suggestions, you should let me know in the comments. So, well, setting things up a little bit differently today because um, trying to figure out my situation here, and that is okay, but you know what? We're gonna have fun, right? Because painting is fun, and that's what it's about. It doesn't matter about the, uh, the amount of effort, but how much fun you're having. So, speaking of fun, because I am consider myself a novice trying to follow in the footsteps of my brother, um, I, well, sorry, heard a little, if you heard a little beep there, that was my, was my assault bike talking to me. You want to get in on this too? <laughs> Maybe someday. Maybe I'll paint you if you're good. Anyway, so as you can see here, I have a, a small canvas. Um, I did have a friend of mine give me some bigger canvases, but, um, to kind of build my comfort, um, into, uh, this piece that I'm going to be doing and just getting more comfortable with painting. I'm starting off with a smaller canvas, and depending on the lighting, you might notice that there are already um, pencil marks on this because, um, as I said, I am a novice, and that's okay. If you like to start your paintings out with a fresh slate, with a blank slate, completely just brand new, totally fine. If you like to get a visual of what you're getting into and mark things up like me, that's okay too. But today's piece, um, is actually called The Road. Now, usually, I know I said I'm trying to follow in the footsteps of my brother, um, try to go for like artsy scenes, those happy trees that everybody loves. We'll get there, we'll get there. So today, we're gonna be drawing a road. And with The Road, we're gonna be using this art perspective, which surprisingly, I know what this is. I know, right? Uh, the one point perspective. So I've got my one point right here. We're going to draw the road. Let me get the brush out here. I'm going to draw this road right here. We're going to have a nice, beautiful sun. Now, this kind of looks like a rainbow. I teeter tottered with that idea, but I think we're just, we're just going to do a sun. And if you want to add layers to it, go for it. If you want to do just one color, go for it. And after doing that, we're going to add a little bit of sky here and uh, some nice green grass here. So here we go. And by the way, just so you know, this is my first attempt at actually painting on a canvas. So we're gonna see how this goes and not break character. So I'm gonna start out with the sky. And I think what we're gonna do is start off with uh, this brush right here, get it a little wet, gonna dabble in our lovely blue paint here. Oh, it's a little chunky. Chunks are okay though. We can work around that. All right, here we go. Mystery in the making. Oh, this feels so nice. You can do this however you want. If you want to do, uh, I almost said a breast stroke or a back stroke or a wade in the water. I don't know. I don't know the pole references, swimming references I'm making here, but that's okay. So we're just gonna add a nice sky, nice blue sky here for our road. And I hope you stay in place, that'd be great. And I hope you've been having a great day so far. Thank you so much for tuning in. I am so happy to be with you all, um, all things considered. I know it's been an incredibly long time. I can't even remember last time I was with you all. Had some things go on, but you know what? We're back in the saddle, and that's okay. Because sometimes life happens, and we need to take care of that every now and then. I didn't realize how relaxing this was. And if you hear a humming sound, and if you can't see in the picture, that is my fridge. 
Now I would, for me, I would fill in the rest of this top half with blue, but I'm actually not gonna do that. I'm gonna save that for our oh so happy and bright sun. Is it gonna be a sunrise, a sunset? You be the judge. And part of me cannot believe that I'm actually painting. I'm being serious. This is actually happening. This is real life. All right. Beautiful. Beautiful. One of these days, I'm going to have some other friends join us. You might see Grandpa Bunny again. Or uh, one of my brother's little squirrely friends. They're a little nutty. <laughs> uh, well, I would attempt to do this right side with my left hand, or my right hand, but I don't think that's going to go too well, and that's okay. How's your sky looking so far? I bet it is looking great. Am I still recording? I don't even know if I'm still recording. I am. Okay. I have a little app on my phone or my watch it lets me know if I'm still recording or not. And if I wasn't, that wouldn't be good. All right, hopefully I'm not in the way here. All right, just wanna brush that in. Brush that in. <laughs> oh, Maurice, you're so funny. Channeling your inner brother. Oh, joy. All right, so now we've got our sky. We'll come back and add some clouds and things to it here in just a little bit. Kind of wet the brush a little bit. Oh, hopefully, please don't fall. Have a have a towel here. Keep things nice and dry. All right. Now, next we're gonna go. I'm actually gonna switch the switch the brushes up a little bit. So official wearing a wearing an apron. Makes me feel fancy. Do you like to wear aprons whenever whenever you paint? Alright, here we go. So now we're gonna go for our sun. This brush is a little, a little on the stiff side, but that's okay. Wrong with a little stiff brush. All right. And you can do this however you want. If you want to try to get things in one stroke, or if you want to try to do multiple strokes, this is your work. There are no mistakes. Only happy accidents. Name that quote, whoever, I'm sorry, who, who quoted that. Oh man, this is fun. Nice quiet space. Well, that pencil mark's going to be in the way, but that's okay. Ever have one of those moments where you're realizing what you're doing? Kind of like one of those pinch me, I'm dreaming things. That's where I'm at right now. Am I still going? Great. Great, great, great. All right. So for me, I, I contemplated adding different colors to my sun, but I think we're just gonna go with the, with the yellow. We might come back and revisit this one of these days. Oh yeah, here we go. Beautiful. Sometimes I get a little excited. 
Sometimes I think that Bob's looking down on me and it's a big old bushy afro. He's like, you're doing great, bud. All right. So I'm just gonna get rid of this excess paint here a little bit. Well, not really a fan. Well, you know what? Teach their own. Teach their own. Okay. All right. And there is, there's our sun. A beautiful, beautiful sun. Beautiful. Love you. Beautiful. You're great. No matter what they say, just don't burn me alive. <laughs> that would be unfortunate. All right. So now, where do you think we should go next? Should we take care of the grass? Or should we take care of the pavement? Personally, I'm thinking we take care of the pavement. I'm gonna stick with the same brush here. <clears throat> Push my glasses up a little bit. And for me, I'm gonna make my road just uh, black like the pavement. All right, there we go, okay. Got a little too much paint, that's okay. As my art teacher back in elementary school would say, a little dab will do you. Oh, well, this road is a little, well, not of its own today. That's okay. Yep, I'm actually doing this. I can't believe it either. Next thing, first thing, you know, we're going from making masterpieces on a, on a whiteboard, which you can, oh, hey, I didn't see you there, friend. Thank you for that smiley face. That's so encouraging. So glad you're here. Well, I'm starting to think I should have probably went with a little bit of a skinnier brush, but you know what? So, I'm wondering, hmm, well, I could continue to highlight the fact that I am a novice, but you know what? That's okay. One of the many wonders and joys of painting is not only trial and error, but uh, just having fun with it. Because what's the point in doing it if you don't have fun with it, right? Right. Hmm. I think... Well, I'm getting a phone call at the moment, but... So that person, they're going to have to wait. I'm so sorry. I love you. I'm just going to finish up this road here. Hopefully I'm not in the way see what we're doing. Just trying. Now, if you can't see this because of the lighting, I have these uh, little, little uh, lines going down the middle for the little uh, road dividers. I'm trying to avoid those as much as possible, but we'll see how we do. And if we go over them, we go over them. That is okay. My goodness, this is so relaxing. I should do this more often, don't you think, Bob? Yeah, I think so too. Doesn't matter how it looks, even if it's a doesn't matter if it's not pretty. I'm having fun. Are you having fun? I hope you are. All right. We've got one half of the road done. Beautiful. Now we're just going to get this other half over here. This makes a funny little sound coming off the canvas. And the, uh, the metal of this, this 
tripod here. A little bit more. Now as far as videos go, in the past, I've only uploaded these to Instagram and Facebook, but thinking about maybe uploading them to YouTube just uh, just for funsies and to make this more available to a wider audience for those who are just looking for uh, a nice soothing voice or perhaps a laugh, which is okay too. Or they're just a fan of my brother. It's just for fun. All right, we are almost done with this road. How's your road looking? I bet it looks fantastic. Make sure I'm still recording. I sure am, and I have a voicemail. I will have to check that in a little bit. All right. So two other things we need to take care of here, and that would be our uh, dividing line here. Now I thought originally I was gonna go for white, but then I realized the canvas is white. <laughs> I'm, I'm so silly. Um, instead, I'm gonna go for yellow. And again, you can do whatever color you want, it does not matter. This is your road and you get to drive it. Drive on it, you know what I mean. All right, here we go. Oh boy. Oh, well, on the messy side. It's fine. It's all good. Because you know what? Sometimes the road can be a little messy. Yeah. It can be a little me <sighs> sometimes not the most enjoyable thing to travel on sometimes it is um, and that's okay all right man that is if this doesn't scream abstract I don't know what does can you even see this I haven't even been pinched. oh you sure can all right all right, last thing we're gonna do, we're gonna not get paint on my glasses. We're gonna do some green grass. Or at least I'm gonna do some green grass. Sometimes I like to visualize that I'm driving uh, out on a back road, windows down, maybe a little bit of music going, just a little quiet conversation with God, reflecting on life, and this wonderful thing called the road, and of course paying attention, because that's important too. Because how can you know where you're going, or get an idea of where you're going, if you're not paying attention, right? should have used a smaller brush for this but that hey you know what that's okay we are learning we are having fun i'm having fun and i hope you are too in fact i think it would be awesome if you were painting alongside me but if you're doing your own road rendition or if you are doing something completely unique you should totally share that let the world see your creativity. That's what I say. Share it in the comments. You can share this video. All right, we're gonna get, get this other side here. And then the last thing that we're gonna do 
I'm going to add some clouds to the sky. How is your scene looking? Is it looking kind of bright? Is it looking melancholy? Is it looking angry? Are you out in the desert? Where are you at? Hope that reflects in your painting. And wherever you're at, if you are stuck in the desert, if you're in a storm, if you're feeling cold, it's okay to be where you're at. I think one of the greatest things we can do, and not only enjoy in the, the wonders of painting, but also in life, is acknowledging where we're at. A lot of folks don't want to do that. Like to try to cover things up for whatever rhyme or reason. And I don't get that. Alright, last thing we're going to do. Now for the clouds, I'm going to get a little creative on this one. Am I still going? Oh, good. Yeah, I still have a voicemail. Alright. So for my clouds, I'm going to play around with this a little bit. I'm just going to you can add as many clouds as you want. You might add two, three, doesn't matter to me. See what I did there? I made a rhyme. This is fun. If you want to go for a symmetrical look, if you want to go for an asymmetrical look, if you want to make sure that your canvas doesn't fall off your tripod, whatever you're using, that's good too. All right. I think I'm going to leave it here today, folks. Um, so, before we leave, if you don't mind, I'd like to actually share something that inspired, inspired today's painting, if you'll allow me. And I'm actually, I had to write it down. But as, as, I, as I share this excerpt, um, take a look at your own painting. You could look at my painting, look at yours. Um, just hear the words that I shared. So just one second. The road. Painting is like a road we are all journeying upon. And like this beautiful thing, this complex thing called life. Sometimes the road is smooth, filled with signs that easily point us in the direction we need to go. Sometimes the road is bumpy, rough, and contains detours, some that are unexpected. And sometimes we're captivated by the beauty surrounding the road, like that of a Sunday afternoon drive through the countryside with the top down, which, hey, I mentioned that earlier. And sometimes we're even held captive by bumper to bumper traffic on the interstate at rush hour. Life is such a road filled with choices and turns that we get to make. Where will the road lead you? Mm. So um, that is all I have for uh, the, today's segment uh, entitled The Road. Um, again, I'm still working on a, a title for the segment, if it's A Moment with Maurice, The Wonders of Painting, um, something else, maybe you have some creative idea, preferably one that does not involve copyright infringement, that'd be great. Um, feel free to share this with your friends, your family, um, your local squirrel, um, whoever else. If they need some inspiration, if again, if they need a laugh, um, a calming, soothing presence, which I hope I have been for you today. Um, and I think that's about it. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, peace be with you. I love you. Have a great rest of your day.